Thank you for joining me to learn more about pelvic organ prolapse. My name is Felicia Fick, and I'm a physician assistant in the Division of Urogynecology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I have the pleasure of evaluating and treating women with pelvic organ prolapse every day. This is such a common problem, and my goal today is to discuss pelvic organ prolapse and some treatment options. Pelvic prolapse is simply a hernia of the vagina. Various structures may fall down in the vagina, such as the bladder, which we call cystocele or anterior prolapse, uterus, called a uterine prolapse, and rectum, which we call a rectocele or posterior prolapse. In a woman who has had a hysterectomy, the apex or top of the vagina may prolapse and this is called an enterocele. These may occur individually or altogether. Common symptoms associated with pelvic prolapse are pelvic pressure, heaviness, a falling out sensation, pulling sensation, feeling like you're sitting on something, or you also can get back aches and pelvic pressure, but pain really isn't associated with prolapse. We grade the severity of the prolapse from zero to four. A zero means there's no prolapse, it's normal. Grade one means the prolapse is halfway down the vagina and I'm the only one who sees it. Grade two means the prolapse is at the entrance of the vagina and you can feel it when you wipe. Grade three, I describe as an egg sticking out of the vagina for about an inch. Grade four is the highest grade. It is an orange sized prolapse. Regardless of the type or the grade of prolapse, the treatment options are the same. If you're not bothered by your prolapse and really have no symptoms, observation is recommended, meaning you don't need to do anything. Even if you notice a lump of tissue, as some patients describe, sticking outside of the body, you don't need to do anything unless you have symptoms. If you develop symptoms, then we can treat this. Treatment options are just two. The most aggressive is surgery, and the only non-surgical option is a pessary. A pessary is a silicone device that you place inside of the vagina. They come in different sizes and shapes. Traditionally, with instruction from a healthcare provider, we teach you how to use this pessary. You would be able to insert and remove it on your own. You would clean it occasionally, sometimes every day, or once every other week. Most pessaries are comfortable to wear and stay in place. If you decide you want surgery, we would make a separate appointment with the surgeon to discuss the surgical plan. The great news about prolapse is that it's not cancer. It's a benign condition. Many women ask if prolapse will worsen over the time. We don't know for sure. We don't have any studies to say one way or the other. Some women do have progression of prolapse and others don't. For appointments at Mayo Clinic, you can call directly. You don't even need a physician referral at 507-538-8400.